Greetings. Now I'm going to show how to add desiccated skin to our zombie arms here. The forearm bones were made from half inch PVC and 3 8 of an inch PEK pipe. The ends of the pipe were heated, then the hand was pushed into place and screwed down with a 1 inch drywall screw. Pieces from pool noodle were used as meaty areas. Heat from a heat gun was applied to shrink the noodles down where needed. Now let's rip up some shop towels and thin out some wood glue and get this party started. Time lapse time. Take the shop towel strips, dip them in the thinned wood glue, and then apply them to the arm, making sure you keep the wrinkles. Continue applying the strips wherever you want a little bit of flesh on the bones. Use a stir stick to add more definition to your wrinkles. I only did one arm on camera, I did the other arm off camera. And here are our hands and arms drawing. I did add a few more tendons off camera, just to add a little, you know. and not a painting. I used Kryl Infusion Color since I had plastic pipes and plastic hands to paint. I covered all exposed areas with a sandy khaki color. We'll let this dry and then on to painting the bone parts. More time lapse. I used a craft acrylic in light buttermilk color to paint all the exposed bone. Take your time and look for all bits of exposed bone wherever they may be. There's a lot of little bits of bone to paint on this thing.
All the bits of bone have been painted. I guess it's time now to weather and age these arms. To age the arms, I paint on a mixture of burnt sienna and raw umber acrylic paints, then rub them off with a paper towel. I will also come in with a dampened paper towel to rub a little bit more of the paint off of the bone areas. And that's it. The final step, of course, is to protect the paint with a matte varnish. Next time we'll be covering the sensor, the lights, and making the mound. So long.